Hello, everybody, and welcome to Exploring Fort Saskatchewan with your hosts, Mayor Gail Catcher and Curtis Dominic. What? What's what? The mayor's here, and we want to talk about sheep. It's a crazy sheep. Hey! Hey! All right, I guess we are talking about sheep. Uh, Hold on, let's do this the proper way. There we go. We've been invaded by sheep. Ah, there we go. All right, all right, there. (laughs) Oops! Oh, there we go. That's good. Hey, everybody, I'm Curtis Dominic. I'm here with the mayor of Fort Saskatchewan, who you should know. Ah, that was the... (laughs) Terrible joke, I'm sure that's not going to be good. So, for everybody who's joining us here today, we have to share. The city of Fort Saskatchewan is not only known for industry, but we're known for our sheep program. And Curtis Dominic of Dominic Digital has a, a real affection for our sheep. So today we thought we would bring some of our wonderful sheep into our video cast and say, you know what, when you, have to, when you come to Fort Saskatchewan, you have to come down to the historic precinct and see our wonderful sheep. So Curtis, tell me, why do you love the sheep program so much? Oh. Well, I have an affection for the sheep program because they're great, what? I'm being told to say <laughs> that they're great, they're lovable, they're friendly, and they're always happy to see visitors, and you can see them down at our, um, what, what, do we want to call it the Fort Precinct? Yeah, it's the at, Fort the, Precinct. at the old fort. Yeah, uh, I've the first time I went, my wife uh, uh, messaged me, and she's like, I'm going to take you for a drive, we've got to go. And uh, yeah, you get in the sheep. You want to okay. get that one over there yeah. too? There's one, one got away from us. Yeah, there's a there's a black one there's, way, there's way, way, way over there. There's one hiding over there. Oh, just grab them, just grab them, yeah. yeah. Can you see them? <laughs> Yeah, there's a black sheep in amongst all the normal sheep. Yeah. Come on. It's just going to have her grab him. That's okay. All right, come on back to us. There. Yeah. There we go. All right, no, I, I love it because my wife was the first one to, to help me go uh, see. Ooh, easy, easy girl. Ooh. To help me, to help me uh, go and uh, see the sheep live. And I got to tell you, I was like a kid with a bunch of kittens because it's like, oh, give them carrots and then once you give one carrots you're like a bowling ball because they they're a hundred and some pounds each and they just come and they're just like (laughs) and i was like (laughs) whoops i lost one oh you lost lost one that's okay (laughs) i (laughs) and you know what's more interesting curtis what's that we are celebrating 25 years of the sheep program here in fort saskatchewan what 25 years we have had the sheep come to Fort Saskatchewan and mow the grass. Now, they don't just mow any grass. They mow it on our Fort Center lands, and now they mow it. Well, they come out and they chew the grass off by our 1875 fort. People come from all over the region to be able to see these little critters. And you know what? Sometimes they want to buy one. This one lost his little name tag that said Fort Saskatchewan. But our museum has sheep like this. The hospital in their gift shop has sheep pro, pro uh, sheep um, stuff paraphernalia and paraphernalia yeah. products so everywhere you go in Fort Saskatchewan we celebrate the sheep and I know every time Curtis comes up to my office oh yeah he, he's like I want to steal one of these sheep <laughs> I always go for you the know. big one but it seems to have some kind of anti-theft device that I can get down to the main lobby and then that's it oh <laughs> you know uh, uh, RCMPs right there, like turn around, Kurt. It's like, damn it! Like, so I've got to figure a way to get this guy home. But then if I do, they all they know it's going to be at home. So maybe I can borrow it one day. No? No, I don't think so. I think we'll keep okay. them here. And you know, you know what else? We have we have That's sheep right. town players, and and they use the sheep as as part of their uh, promotional. And you know what? We just love the fact that they make us feel warm and fuzzy inside. And on on June third, they always come to the fort, and then the long weekend in September, we actually take them and parade them 
down our streets to say goodbye. And we have people come out in the hundreds to come and give them the last crab apples, some of those carrots. And when their feet hit the pavement, they like literally poop all <laughs> over. Uh, but nobody cares. We walk through it, it fertilizes our grass. No, 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 that one can't do anything for you. So uh, you know what, we are having a little bit of fun here today, but that's what exploring Fort Saskatchewan is really all about. You know, it's about exploring our beautiful community and learning what we have to offer. And you know, we are so proud of the fact that we have the sheep program in Fort, Fort Saskatchewan. And uh, <laughs> I love how we're balancing sheep on top of sheep. Yeah. So anyway, if you have some good sheep sheep photos, share them on Exploring Fort Saskatchewan. Let's see how far a reach we can get on seeing this. Now this sheep looks like he's getting a little bit angry with you. It's okay. Yeah, I'll so turn you like, into a sweater. Just be nice. <laughs> No, and we don't eat the sheep in Fort Saskatchewan. At the end of the season, they always go home with our shepherd. And if you come down to the 1875 fort, they are just behind, and we always have a shepherd that's with them all the time. They're so happy to have people come. They're so come. friendly. Well, they, they love to have people come and talk to them, and they can share their stories. You know, we've, we've had our media go out, and they see the baby lambs as they're born in the spring, and we know those little babies are coming here, and they make everybody's visit that much better in Fort Saskatchewan. Because that's the size of the baby lamb right there. As soon as it, it, this it, it one? yeah, it, okay. it's pretty much like that. Okay, and we have black sheep, we have white sheep, yes. I always thought that that was just a joke, the whole black sheep thing there, until you see it just white, 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 and then there's one black, and you're like, we, wow, we, it's we true. Have, we have more than one black one. But anyway, Curtis, you know what? I love the fact you love to promote our sheep in our Fort Saskatchewan. That was the tongue twister. Yes, I love to promote our sheep in Fort Saskatchewan. Uh, you know what? I love to promote Fort Saskatchewan, period, because I think it's a great city. I love it. My wife and I are making, uh, we have a business here. Uh, we love helping everybody out. Uh, it's an amazing city. It's like it's a city carved out of a forest. It's beautiful. Like, it's safe. It's clean. It's friendly. I don't know what more you'd want. Really? I know. I love Fort Saskatchewan. So for anybody who's viewing this today and thinking we're a little crazy. We yep, are. Yep, we are. We don't we talk to sheep or anything like that. What's that? <laughs> There used to be horse whispers. We have our sheep whisperer right. now. And Curtis, I would like to thank you for joining us on Explore, not just joining us, but hosting, Exploring Fort Saskatchewan. You're so bad. <laughs> Did you like that joke? And with that, <laughs> oh, 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 here oh. we go. That's okay, Curtis Knight, there we go. Thank you for joining us. Explore Fort Saskatchewan. Exploring Fort Saskatchewan is a product of Dominic Digital. <laughs>